Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be creating this engine valve. All right, let's hop right to it. Let's start out by creating a new component. Let's label it engine valve. Select the right view. Let's create a sketch on the right plane, which is visible. Okay, I'm going to create a series of lines. Let's start out by creating the first vertical line. Let's make this 115.55 millimeters. The bottom line, let's go ahead and make this 26.67 millimeters. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish the profile as follows. Okay. Let's go ahead and add a perpendicular constraint from this line to this line. Okay. Let's go ahead and make the radius 15.25 of this arc. This line we want it to be 1.27 millimeters. Distance from this line to this line. In height, we want to be 3.81 millimeters. Okay. The angle from this line to this line, we want to be 25 degrees. Okay. The width of this line, we want to be 3.18 millimeters. Our sketch is fully defined. Let's go ahead and look at these dimensions again. Go ahead and finish the sketch. Let's use the revolve command. Profile is already selected. Let's select this outer edge. Click OK. All right, let's go ahead and add some material. So let's go ahead and make this nickel. Nickel polished. OK, I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to edit it. And call this glossy. I'm going to show you why I'm doing that in a second. Okay. Click done. All right. Let's go ahead and take the slider and make this a little bit more rough. It's just about there. Okay. Let's take the glossy one. Select faces, select that point, that face right there, and this face right, right here. Okay, so this part is going to be rough and this is going to be glossy. Let's close this out. Let's go ahead and create another sketch and let's put it on the right plane. Okay, select construction line and let's start at the center point and bring it all the way up until we see the triangle in the X. Okay, zoom in right here. Let's go ahead and create a two point rectangle. Just in space, let's go ahead and turn off construction first. Now we can go ahead and create it. All right, two millimeters, tab two millimeters, click okay. All right, now let's go ahead and dimension this so we can constrain this. We want the distance from this edge to this construction line to be 2.8 millimeters. Okay. 2.8, not 28. All right, there we go. Okay. And we want the distance from this point to this bottom edge to be about 11 millimeters. And it's fully defined. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Just use the revolve command. Profile's already selected. The axis, we'll just go ahead and select the body. Operation's going to be set to cut. Let's click OK. All right. All right, let's go ahead and use the chamfer command. Select the edge here, this edge, and this edge here. Let's make this 0.38. All right, click OK. All right, let's go ahead into the render menu. Okay. In canvas render, 
let's see what we got. I want to kind of tone down this shiny part here. So let's hit the A key to bring up the appearances. Polished, we know that's polished, and this is going to be glossy. So the glossy one, we'll go ahead and turn that down a little bit. We're bringing it up just enough. Actually, it's a little bit too much. That's good. It's about 0.153. All right. And you can adjust the lighting as you see fit, just to give you an idea of what we have. Okay. And there you have it. There's your uh, engine valve. I hope you liked this quick tutorial. Stick around and I'll see you in the next video.